What's up, what's up, everybody? It's Transmog Pack time again, and we have some Transmog, some data mine Transmog information. Oh, there's a better picture in this uh, as well. We got some data installed on our devices. It's the Transmogs. I'll show you guys. Uh, there's this, and there's another picture. This is the kind of blurry one. But before I get into that, there's that last island. We thought it was like, I'm still waiting on that last island to be unlocked. What is it going to be? I don't know. I think we're all waiting for it. They said it was going to be, they said it was going to be by the end of 2018. Uh, by, by the end of, by the end of 2018. Well, in that case, before 2018, I mean, by, by the end of the year. Uh, this year. This year. So I'm wondering, is that still the plan? Is that still the game plan? Did they push it back? I don't know. I, I, I can't find out anything. I'm going to try to find out, but I have no information on it. If I would tell you guys if I had information on it, if it was still happening or if it's going to get pushed back. But I, I do not even know myself. I know everyone thinks I have these crazy, like, oh, secret ties to come to us in Korea. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Like, I try to get information, but um, I don't have all the answers. Anyway, so I'm as curious about that as you guys are. But we got some data mine stuff from the patch. Uh, not the patch, from the, the data installation. It's just the transmog pack. Um, so anyway, we've got this, and then we've got a better version. A better version. Yes, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. So this looks like uh, definitely the Ifrit, which is great. I think it's really smart of them to do an Ifrit transmog. Everyone's got, everyone that w w put in the effort to get them has gotten all the Ifrits by now, or all four. Still not the light one, but... Uh, um, I guess he was, I don't remember his skills, but I guess he was OP. I heard something about like AOE damage based on speed. I'm like, yeah, that could be element neutral AOE damage based on speed. That could be pretty strong. Um, but I don't remember the skills off the top of my head for the light one that never came out and they are not planning to release it. Uh, but the, I mean, the Afrit looks cool. I'm glad that they actually put a, a skin for the Afrits, which everyone can get. Everyone's like, oh, that's a Nat 5 that I can transmog. I think that one will actually sell well. The second one, I also think that's a smart move by uh, Contuous on their part. The second one looks like a Hell Lady, I guess. Um, let's go back to the first, the first image. Yeah, it looks like the Hell Lady, just by her weapon. Uh, so the second one is, I guess, a Hell Lady. Uh, nice, nice. Very, very lovely. Approved, approved, okay. And then we have the third one is, uh, I guess, another Neostone agent transmog, Sylvia. For all of you that have Sylvia, congrats on that. Um, but it looks really nice. It looks really cool. Uh, a little Japanese style there. Um, and then we have, what is it? This is like, the it's Hua, like the, it's the Rakshasi for the fourth, the Rakshasi? The Rakshasa for the fourth one. Right, because she's the only monster. She is the only monster with a whip, right? Anyway, but it's clearly Hua. So that looks nice. Is that like half secretary, half like? I don't. I don't. I. I've seen that. Where have I seen that before? Is it a Mexican outfit? It's not a Mexican outfit. It's like a half secretary. I've seen that outfit before, though. I've seen that outfit before. Anyway, looks nice. They all look nice. And then that last one, Elven Ranger. It's, I mean, it's gotta be the Elven Ranger, right? He's got the elf ears and he's got a bow. That's it. Elven, Ra El Elven Ranger? Elven Ranger, sure, okay. Um, that seems like a little bit out of left field. Like, we, we have the, we've had the other transmogs. Of course, they've already done all the four-star transmogs already. So, like, okay, they gotta redo some, but I'm surprised that they're, like, so I understand that they're redoing some of the four-stars, right? It's gonna happen. Uh, the four-stars, seem to sell well as far as transmogs because everyone's like they're semi-rare but they're still loved enough that they people will get transmogs from them. I, do, I guess they like review and they see like what sells through and then they continue on that trend even if they have to duplicate some monsters right but we still we're still missing so many nat fives but the thing is the nat fives are so rare they don't sell as well and i think the three stars don't get six starred as often most people are six starring their nat fives more they're six starring, their net fours, and then they'll transmog the stuff that they have six stars for. Why? why I mean, that they have six star. Why are they going to transmog something that they never built, right? Which leads me to the question: Why? Oh, you guys can see that I uh, I opened the other thing uh, in back of there. Uh, which leads me to the question: Why the Elven Ranger? 
Who is using these Elven Rangers? Why was that the three star that they chose? I don't... I mean... I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so let's go. Let's take a look. That's it for the new trans tra transmogs, guys. Um, if you're just here for those... Those images. Uh, that's it for those. I'm just gonna, like, look through and see, like, what kind of other three stars might have been... Might have been maybe more fun to do. Like, what... Still no two stars, right? Still no two stars. We haven't seen a uh, transmog for these girls, right? A few people are using like the dark one, the light one, uh, the fire one I've seen use the necro. I really don't see the wind and water ones too much. Uh, Inugamis we have a transmog for and really don't see too much use of these guys. Some golems, but golems have a transmog already. Griffins have a transmog. Infernos don't really get used too much anymore. High Elementals, I still see these used. I'm surprised they don't have a High Elemental. Like, wouldn't this be... I would think that this would be at least with... With Kali and with Shren. I mean, I guess that's... Kali and Shren are the only ones that are really being used. I like to use Elena. Uh, but I don't think anyone else likes to use her. Bear Man. I mean, not really too many people. We already have a Werewolf transmog. Um... I mean, maybe a maybe an Amazon transmog because a lot of people are using Lin. I feel like Lin would be used more. I don't see too many martial cats being used. Vagabond already has a transmog. Bounty Hunter already has a transmog. Imp, Ch Imp Champion Yaku, my boy Yaku. I don't think a lot of uh, people are using. Aside from Yaku, I don't think a lot of people are using the other ones, the other Imp Champions. Uh, Mystic Witch has a transmog. Living Armor has a transmog as well. I'm trying to look through. I mean, you've got a transmog too. These towers got a transmog too. Penguin Knight has a transmog. So a lot of the ones that are already being used. Cowgirls don't have transmogs, but they're kind of not mystical scroll monsters anyway. Bulldozer has a transmog, like the, the Frankensteins. What else? These hogs have transmogs too. I guess Elven Raider is like... I guess it makes sense because everything else was transmog. They're like... I know they're not used that much, but let's at least do something. But, like, who's getting this Tr Elven Ranger transmog? Fire one is used sometimes in Necropolis. Maybe that's what they're banking on. People are going to transmog their fire ones. I don't see that selling. Honestly, I don't see that selling. The water one could be... I mean, he's not that bad. He's not the, that bad for, like, TOA. Um, I don't see anyone building him. I don't really see anyone build... I saw someone six-star him in chat today. Aside from that, I don't see anyone building him. And I actually have this guy, and he's kind of... Like, he seems cool for Necropolis, but honestly, there's just better units. So, maybe they're planning... Maybe Elven Ranger buff. Buff Dark Elven Ranger. He seems kind of, like, not super... He's, like, a not very good version of the uh, Wind Monkey, basically. So, anyways, I was just... I thought maybe High Elemental would be better. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys wish for three stars they would have transmogged? What are you guys actually using? Because maybe Comptoist actually sees this video and they're like, Oh, what about this? What about this girl? She doesn't have a transmog yet. And there's a four star version of her too. I don't know if people... Some people use Ardella. And some people use Bethany, but Bethany's a rare monster. So I feel like she would have been the best, the best choice. But anyway... Anyway, what do you guys, if you were to choose, if you, if you wanted to see some new three-star transmogs that haven't already been transmogged, that haven't already had transmogs for them, what would you choose? What would you choose? Because a lot of them, like half of them already had them. So, and I think the most popular ones already had them, but I think maybe, maybe Harpies, maybe High Elementals is what I would see. Because I mean, it, well, it only makes sense that they're transmogging things people actually use. Because otherwise, who's going to buy them, right? So anyway, guys, uh, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will see you. Oh, links. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, shout outs to, credit goes to Enzeru VS and gift the gift of the gods uh, on Reddit for the information for the, uh, the data mining. So thanks to them. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you as always in the next one.